What's up guys, I'm using my baton as a mic, but uh, stay tuned to, to the end of the video because there, there's some stuff. If you're too lazy for that, stay, leave a like, subscribe, because this coming week, influencers are getting some exclusive content for the, uh, for the event that's about to come out. Um, and th this, I, I'm an influencer, apparently. Mom, I made it. Um, so anyway, if you want to see that content, subscribe. But, uh, on with the, on with the, uh, community live stream recap. What's up, guys? Cajun here, and it's been a while. Last day of school, but, uh, you know what, you know what's great? Community live stream. Hell yes. Uh, so today, uh, or well, yesterday by the time y'all are seeing this, community live stream, May 24th, 2019. Uh, Edwin was on the stream, uh, and this is for Critical Ops if you don't know. Uh, but before I start, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned um, to the end of the video and throughout the week. And you'll find out why I said throughout the week at the end of the video. Ha <laughs> ha. How many of you are going to just skip to the end? Who knows? Um, but we have some info this stream about 1.6, of course, since the beta was out. Uh, a lot of it was just recapping 1.6. Um, also, we got a couple sneak peeks at the new event. And yeah, let's just jump into it. Since the last stream, Plaza's been reworked, daily missions were changed, and there was actually a couple questions about daily missions answered. Um, Wadi said uh, that, you know, they've always had three missions, but some of you may have noticed that this week you started getting four. And the reason for that is, uh, since this last update, if you have the Elite Pass, you now get four missions. Uh, and of course, the Weekly Challenge, you get 15 missions, or you complete 15 missions within the week, you get 20,000 XP, which is great. Sick. Uh, 1.6 info. Uh, move, you know, straight on to it. 1.6, we're here. Uh, ranked 2.0. And, uh... You, for Spec Ops, you see a little number on the side that says rating. Well, what, what's this rating? And I, I was wondering this myself, too. Uh, so, basically, what the rating is, uh, Critical Ops is now using the Glico 2 system, which is the system you kind of see in CSGO and a couple of other games. Um, but that's how the rating works, and it goes up and down, uh, you know, based on, uh, you know... When you win, when you lose, who you lose to, who you win against, um, and how you do in the match. Um, so it works by looking at the skill ratings of other players. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're going against a team who's you know better than you, you won't lose as much rating than if you're the better team and you lose against a team worse than you. Uh, so if you if you lose a team worse again, if you lose against a team worse than you, you lose more rating. Um, so, uh, it, it's definitely a lot different than rank, uh, 1.0, except somehow I still got put in silver. I don't know how I had bots all four games, all five games, and we only won one. But I'm gold now, so that gold after one game feels great, man. <laughs> um, it's a lot different than 1.0 ranked. Uh, the old system only counted wins and losses, while this one tracks other players' ratings, how you do during a match and other things, like I just said. Um, new rank, Elite Ops. Now, how does this one work? It's pretty self or it's pretty it's pretty simple. Um, the top 250 players in the world will have the rank of Elite Ops, uh, and rather than the old Spec Ops where it was a percentile number, so if you had Spec Ops 32%, you were in the top 32% of the world. Uh, in the game uh this one is only 250 people only 250 people are going to have this rank uh so it'll be exciting to see uh how this works going on to the leveling system the new the player level system uh for now it's just showing the level uh which is the little blue 
wreath looking thing uh, with the number in it uh, and you see it at the end of games the two bars the critical pass bar at the top and the level bar at the bottom uh, but so far it's just showing you know lo uh, level uh, it's still kind of in the words works they're still trying to figure out you know what they want to do with it um, but all in all it's just a bare bones XP system uh, and that it shows how much time and how much people have played the game um, now, a question a lot of people have asked, will ranks be reset again after the beta once uh, live comes out? And just like when ranks came out uh, the first time, yes, ranks will be re-reset uh, this time. Um, and it's, you know, the beta is just testing to make sure that everything is working all right. People are getting placed in the right places, so forth and so on. I don't think I'm getting placed in the right places, but hey, who knows? Um, <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, uh, you, you'll get re-reset and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Also, seasons allow the devs to add stuff and change rules in between seasons rather than just in the middle of the season. So, uh, so they'll listen to feedback. And there's a question in the Q&A section later on about this. Uh, but they'll listen to feedback, uh, feedback and, you know, changes will be made if necessary uh, and stuff like that. Moving on. Uh, new gun, the Winchester. It's a lever action shotgun, a thousand dollars in defuse slash rain. Uh, and what the devs really wanted to do um, is they wanted to make a cool looking weapon that felt that it's. Uh, they wanted to make a cool looking weapon and they felt that it's hard to do just a completely new shotgun that would feel great. Uh, so they went with the Winchester, which it definitely feels great. It's probably my favorite shotgun, if not one of my favorite guns in the game, besides the U ratio. And uh, probably uh, the HK, especially the HK now. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, smaller clip size than the FP6 with five shells rather than, I think, eight in the FP6 or ten. Uh, faster reload. That or, Well, that means faster reload since you don't have to put as many shells in. Um, a tad bit more accurate, especially at mid-range. Um, and it's just... A simpler alternative to the FP6 if you want a shotgun, but you don't want the short range of the FP6 because the Winchester does have a little bit more range. Uh, weapon balance changes. The frag grenade has been nerfed a lot. Um, something the devs have heard from players from all skill ranks, pros, spec ops, diamonds, bronze, that the frag grenade is way too OP. And they saw teams like GS just buying nades and buying nades and stacking nades and then you know going and throwing and using them and stuff so they figured you know we have to change this so basically what happened uh and i'll have a separate video coming out on this uh in a bit uh in, a, in like a day or two uh smaller radius so that you have a better chance of moving out of the impact zone so uh, basically for example the radius used to be like this big and now they've just shrunk it to where you don't take as much damage uh, in the radius. Because, yeah, I'm sure you guys get it. Um, also, they changed the armor penetration value of it. Uh, so that if you have Kevlar and a helmet, uh, it won't hurt you as bad as if you don't. Uh, and yeah, that's basically all that happened for the frag grenade. Uh, for assault rifles, holy hell we had a lot of changes a lot of buffs all of these i believe are buffs um first starting with the aug uh it's been a little underpowered considering its price it's a really really high price i think like 3200 or like 3000 something like that um so they increased the range of it they increased the clip size by two uh, and they decreased the recoil fast uh, factor so that more people will want to use it uh the hk417 i'm saying it right now and a lot of people have been saying it and i've even noticed and ranked it's gonna be a new meta it's gonna be a new meta at least for a little bit until people you know feel like the ak is better again um but yeah it, it's only in beta it may not be as big of a meta as we think it is but 
it, it's doing it's really doing well right now um what they did is they 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 changed this one a lot they increased the fire rate a little bit um number numbers wise and you know value wise it was just a tiny bit of fire rate um but in game you oh hell it it yeah you can you can tell uh because like the old the old hk was like this one is like so it it, it it's it's really really great i don't know why i grabbed this all of a sudden but um they increased the size of the clip from 15 bullets to 20 uh and with that they're taking away one clip from your inventory I don't know if it's called the inventory, but they're taking away one clip you have, so you have one clip less. Um, so your max ammo is, is, well, technically it's the same, I guess, but yeah, whatever. Um, increased recoil per shot. So since the fire rate is faster, that means you're you're going up more rather than do, and it, it you know it's kind of resetting. This is you know it's it's not resetting as fast, so more recoil. Uh, the SA-58 uh, is more of an eco-rifle, so they wanted to increase the max damage at close range and increase the minimum damage range, which caused an even amount of damage at, you know, at a distance. So, uh, usually, for example, the SA would be good at, you know, mid-range mid to, like, short range, and it wouldn't really do good at long range. And, and, and even, you know, it was more of this. You know, from here to here it was good, and from here to here it really wasn't. Now they've kind of increased it to where it's good at a, a more medium range, and it's still good at long range, but it's not as good as it he is in this section. So, you know, I'm excited to see what it does. I've I've been one that always has liked the SA-58, uh, and it, it's it's a great gun in my opinion. Uh, and then probably the most controversial buff. The SG-551, um, a lot of people don't like this gun. They say it's for noobs. I mean, if you have 3800 to spend, you're going to buy it. Oh, wait, psych. They decreased the amount for the SG from 3800 to 3200 And this is basically because they didn't want it to, be, to cost as much as a U-ratio, where you have a lot of skill for a lot of money uh, to use that weapon. Um, so you don't need too much skill for the SG, so make it a little bit cheaper. Maybe, you know, in later rounds, people will start using it more. Uh, also, they reduce the recoil factor, uh, just by a little bit. Um, and this is actually a little bit. It, it, it doesn't feel like there's much change in the SG. I've, I've been playing with it. Another update, uh, they talked about the influencer program. Uh, I know, you know, Personally, uh, they've been adding a couple more, uh, or they just added a couple more people uh, the past two weeks. Um, but if you missed the last um, application period, they're open again. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's https uh, colon forward slash forward slash tiny url slash cops influencer program, capital C, capital I, and capital P. Um, and yeah. If you if you have the, the right number of viewership and you, you like posting CEOPS videos, um, apply and see what happens. Uh, and then we'll get into the Q&A portion. Uh, and so a, a lot of the... I, I tried to do the ones that weren't repetitive. And your boy got in three questions this week. Uh, two of them were kind of meme -y, but one was actually a question that i've had and that i know a couple of you guys have had so i asked for y'all um so first question will you add the molly of the deagle we've heard this a million times and i know this is a repeated question but um edwin was kind of like yeah you know we've talked about it um and and you know we kind of want to do it, but at the same time, we don't because we already have guns that are like that. And Wadi said kind of the same thing, you know, you know, we already have a gun like the Deagle, the MR96, and we already have a gun like the U-Ratio, the AWP, so why add those guns 
if they're basically the same, you know what I mean? So, um, but, you know, now that they've added the Winchester, they're leaning in towards new ideas to, uh, to, to put guns that are kind of similar, uh, into the game. Um, then it was my question, increasing the round limit for rank. I have suggested this in the influencer suggestion chat. I've talked about this numerous times in, in ranked videos and stuff like that. Uh, but basically they said they, they've really talked about it a lot. And when they first introduced rank, they really didn't feel like they should have a long ranked because they're a mobile game and you know it, the longest a best of 17 round could go is about like 30 45 minutes so they felt like eh, it's kind of a stretch no one's gonna really want to play ranked uh so they went with best of 17 because it is um it is a mobile game now in my opinion that makes it feel a lot more casual rather than a ranked you know system especially if your tournament uh especially if your tournament standard is going to be best of 25 and now best of 30 now that you can change round limits um but yeah if you're if you're gonna have that for your tournament standard might as well make it ranked and then casual for like quick diffuse or whatever uh instead of six rounds for quick diffuse um but yeah uh then, uh, or no, 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 he, he, uh, Edwin also said, uh, there could be some changes in the future, but they have to test it. They have to ask players how they feel about it, stuff like that. Um, and it, he said it could possibly be, you know, like I talked about earlier, one of the rule changes for, you know, a future season. Um, and, and he reiterated that each season is good to try out new ideas for ranked and, you know, the game in general. Um, and, and Wadi made a good point, too, like I just said. Tournament players are used to best of 25 and now best of 30. Uh, so, they're you know, they're kind of trained to to play that long of a match. So they kind of, they, they understand where we're coming from. Um, but at the same time, they also want to make it easier for players to play ranked. Um, where, and then another question of mine... <laughs> Where's the Lotus skin for the TRG? Hashtag Olive Gang. Gang, gang. That was so white. Um, <laughs> uh, Edwin will have to ask the skin team where... Oh, what the hell did I just do? Um, he said he'll have to ask the skin team. Uh, and Wadi, you know, was like, yeah, that, that, that's the only skin that, that, that's not... Or that's the only gun that Lotus isn't on. Uh, so maybe the skin team will make it. Maybe Edwin will, uh, put it in. If so, Lotus Gang, <laughs> rise up. <laughs> um, another question was about removing aim assist and ranked. Um, and Edwin said, especially with seasons, it could be something that could be tried out as well. Just like the, you know, the round limit for ranked. Uh, but he also said it's a tricky thing to do. And Edwin has even, you know, talked with higher players. And he's noticed that uh, some of them turn it off completely because it messes with their aim. So, you know, it's an, I it's an idea that's been floated around uh, the office. Um, another question was about increasing friends list. Um, and both Edwin and Wadi agreed that, yeah, it should be something that, uh, is, is, um, what's it called is increased and something that should be worked on. But, uh, like Edwin said, they don't really know the technical limitations. So he'll bring it up with the, uh, the tech team and see what they can do about that. And if that's possible, uh, someone asked about community made skins. Edwin said, not quite possible. It would be nice, but it isn't possible. Um, someone asked about inactive accounts. So if you're new to Critical Ops and you don't know about the inactive account purge, uh, basically once an account goes inactive for two years, their name is free game for anyone. So for example, if, if I were to want the name Cajun, just Cajun, not Cajun X, just Cajun, uh, I would have to wait for the current Cajun who only has like 35 kills he's an active i would have to wait two years since the last time he played or since the last time he got on to to copy that name um it's still active in 
you know, we'll, we'll have to see uh, when it doesn't go active because I want it. <laughs> um, and then I, I had a question about new merch because I want that awesome Critical Ops merch. Uh, and they said, you know, possibly it could be a thing. It could be a thing eventually. Um, and then someone asked about new game modes and the devs have something planned for new game modes but can't really say anything yet. Uh, and then they proceeded to be like, what, what, what game mode, huh? We, we haven't been testing anything at all. <laughs> um, someone asked about how they are addressing the auto clicker problem. Uh, and Edward said, or Edwin said that that's been the devs number one priority, but it's tricky because they don't want to screw anyone else over by fighting the system. Uh, and you know, they're just taking their time to figure out the problem. Uh, and I, I haven't really seen auto clickers too too much recently, so that that's a good thing. But that could also be because the pass is, is completed for them or whatever. Um, someone asked about the old gun sound changes. Uh, Edwin said that they were supposed to come out with one point, or I you know remember them coming out with one point oh. There was even a beta with it. I made a video. Rubes made a video. A lot of people made videos on the changes, um, but. Edwin said they that they really didn't work out, so they decided to scrap it um, and, and back out from it. But CFE has been wanting to change the, the gun sounds for a pretty good time, but they just don't have the resources at the moment. Uh, and then someone asked, Butterfly Knife? Uh, and Edwin said, you know, it'd be interesting, uh, but Wadi would also like to see the Grasshopper Knife. <laughs> um, and then... Other suggestions, the diamond sword knife. I would love to have that. Please, CFE, do it. Do it now. Do it. Just, just do it. And then, the moment you have all been waiting for, the sneak peek for the event. We've got some emblems shown, which I'll pop up on screen right now. And we also have a Winchester skin. Uh, probably is going to be the last tier of the uh, critical pass but hey who knows because guess what if you're here at the end of the video your boy is gonna have exclusive content apparently about the event this coming week i don't know when it is i don't know when the video will be up uh i'll try and get some more information on that um and and, and stuff like that um but yeah i'm gonna have info about the event um coming this week so stay tuned subscribe and stuff like that and that was basically it that was the end of the stream uh i got into all the games today which i don't think i've ever really done uh it was a fun time we had you know of course a good tdm and then we had meme matches it all in all was great fun uh playing with them um and and yeah it, it's just always great fun to, to watch the community stream live because usually when I make these videos, they're after the fact. They're, and you know, right. Oops. <laughs> uh, right now it's act after the fact, of course, but um, usually I'm, you know, typing, you know, my script um, and, and my notes while watching the VOD and, and I'm, you know, seeing this for the first time. This one, you know, luckily I was able to see it for the second time. I knew it was coming. I knew it was happening. And uh, I was able to, you know, get this done faster rather than reacting and being like, whoa, that's cool and, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, th that's it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, again, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I do these every community live stream. I do news videos, update videos. I don't do leak videos because those aren't real. And those aren't to be trusted. But uh, come on down. Uh, you're the next contestant on. You should be the next subscriber. I don't know what I'm doing. I decided to, to make this a mic. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.